Hey, what's up guys? I'm here for part two of this video series. Um, in part one, I started creating e-commerce app just by duplicating my source code. And I changed some colors, changed the icon, I changed stuff like the name and the funnel identifier. If you haven't seen part one, uh, take a look at it. It is on my channel right now. So now I am going to start part two, which is getting the database set up for the app. Uh, some reskins will not have this step because they don't have a database involved, but I usually like to stick to e-commerce apps and social media apps since they're more valuable, and these types of apps always have a data database involved. So let's get to it. Um, all right, just going to open up the Commerce Pro what we were working on before, and Xcode. It's a little slow. All right, there we go. So I'm back in the Commerce Pro app. Already changed the name and everything. So right now, I'm going to go to the Firebase website, which is how I run my database. Uh, it's free to use and it makes it really easy to store uh, data online. So I would check that out if you don't know about it. So typically, I already did this step, but um, typically there would be an iOS setup uh, banner right here. And you would press that and you would download this Google uh, plist file and then you would just drag that into here. It's right there. It'll have your name and everything. Um, at that point, you'll want to go to authentication and go to sign in method and select email slash password or any sign in method that you use, whether it's phone or Facebook or Google. Just enable whatever you're using for that specific project. And then database holds the stuff. I already signed in once, so you can see my data here. Storage holds images or videos, any files like that. And that is about it for that. So usually once I set up the database, I would run the simulator and uh, check out the app, make sure it doesn't have any errors. I already did this step because I tried uh, taping that earlier and um, my computer just froze up because there was so much stuff running at once. Having a simulator, Xcode, my like videotaping stuff all at once. So uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to include that in the video. But basically all I do is press this play button here, an iPhone simulator comes up, it'll show the app, it'll run everything. Uh, I create an account and then I make sure everything works how I wanted it to. And then I add some products uh, to display for the app review team. I just put in some dummy data, um, just some uh, different products that you might see on a e-commerce app. If you don't have this type of stuff, Apple will reject the app for not having any data in it. So be sure to do that step. Um, at that point, you should be ready to uh, put the app onto iTunes, which will start the first step here. So of course, make sure your bundle identifier and display name are correct, like I said in the last video. Next, you're going to want to un unselect uh, the device, make it generic iOS device, go to product, and then archive. This step uh, puts your entire app into a file that can be uploaded to iTunes Connect. Um, hopefully my computer doesn't start to have problems from running this. I'm going to stop this here. So you guys know the basic idea. So you basically archive it. Once it's done archiving, a new window will pop up. And then from there, there's an upload button and you just press upload. And at that point, the app gets uploaded to iTunes Connect. And my next video will be the entire process of um, 
putting everything you need into iTunes Connect, creating a new app, and submitting the app. So at this point, we're basically done with the reskin part. The rest is just uh, stuff like uploading, creating a description, putting keywords, all the more technical stuff, I guess. None of it's really that technical, but the most technical part is done. You are done editing any files in the project. So just an overview. This is what our new app looks like. Again, nothing really changed too much except the colors. So it's a pretty simple process. So be sure to look out for video three, which I think will end the series. And uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. I'm going to be adding a lot more in the future. Thank you for watching, guys.